I know that Kelly and Steve have expressed thanks to as many of you as they possibly can, and I know how sincerely they have meant that, but I also know how difficult it is to, to express a real deep and sincere thing. So I just want to add a little bit to theirs. Friends, we are assembled here in the presence of God to unite this man and this woman in holy marriage, which is instituted by God and to be held in honor among all people. Those who are blessed by God enter into this relationship, but be devoted to love, to bear with each other's weaknesses, and to comfort each other in times of sorrow, with a true heart to provide for each other, to encourage each other with understanding throughout their lives, as heirs to the gift of life and love. Steve, Kelly, to realize the enormous what you are about to undertake with these vows. The decision to marry made in the context of human uncertainty required tremendous faith. Faith in yourselves as individuals, faith in the strength of your relationship, and faith that you will be able in your couplehood to deal with whatever the future holds. Steve, will you have this woman Kelly to be your wife? Will you pledge your faithfulness to her in all love? in all tenderness and honor, in all duty and service, and cherish her in accordance with God, in the holy bond of marriage. Amen. Kelly, will you have this man, Steve, to be your husband? Will you pledge your faithfulness to him in all love, in all tenderness and honor, in all duty and service, and cherish him in accordance with God, in the holy bond of marriage. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I see you take you, Kelly. I see you take you, Kelly. I see you To be my wedding wife. I promise before God and these witnesses. Yep. I promise before God and these witnesses. To be a loving, faithful husband. To be my love, to be loving, to be my loving, to be loving husband. In prosperity or need. Prosperity or need. Joy or sorrow. Joy or sorrow. Joy or sorrow. setting here, we stand out here on the point at Kapalua, look out, see Molokai and Lanai. Yesterday we couldn't see Molokai as we were here for the rehearsal. It was all walked off by the clouds. As we look across, and the water is pretty calm today, but we know that it can get pretty rough and stormy too. Yesterday also as we were here, there were some beautiful rainbows. One of the brightest rainbows I ever have seen as I was driving back into Lahaina. And we know that we only see the rainbow because of the storm. We only see the beauty and the majesty of the mountains because of the valley. Even though it may be like a one-sided valley, you can go up the other side. You see the, the Kugulau over in Kailua. 
but we forget that, that all of life in a sense is like that. That we need both the sunshine and the rain. We need the valleys and the mountain tops. And the Lord told us that there would be valleys, but that He would be with us through them. So as you travel through valleys and storms, may you grow stronger in the vigilant. May you grow stronger and closer as a couple. And may you grow stronger and closer to God. May you always be aware of the friends and the loved ones around to reach out and give strength. Not only those who are near, but those even far away who are continuing with their love and the love of the We're so grateful that, that so many people could be here and that they made such a great effort to come from long distances to share this very important event with you. Very beautiful. The wedding rings are the outward and visible sign of the inward and invisible vows and promises between Kelly and Steve. As you look upon their ring, let the circle be a reminder of their unending love. Let the gold be a reminder of the purity of their love. The ring not only contains love, it also contains gold and family. God and the all those make the circle the husband and wife, those whom God has joined together, that no person separate. 